Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome to another House Flipper episode. We're here at the Flood House, which is a POI that I explored in episode 6 of my current Nightmare series. I love the layout of this place, and after exploring it, I was inspired to do a House Flipper, so here we are. We're gonna get started. The first thing we always do is destroy all the bullshit we don't need, clean it up real nice, and then we're gonna paint it, furnish it, bring on a zombie horde, and destroy it. Definitely not going to destroy this camper, though. I love this thing. And I don't really think much has to happen. The layout in here is nice. You got a kitchen, a bathroom, a place to eat, a place to sleep. It's perfect. I'll probably just give this thing a paint job, and that's really it. I don't see much else that has to happen. Maybe a new hatch up there, maybe a new door. We'll see. For now, I'm going to leave it alone. Let's move on to the house. We got a locked garage door here, so I'm going to destroy it. We'll put our own working one in later. And let's get rid of all this shit in here. No need for it. Here's the front entryway right here. And bust open the front door. I kind of like the glass panels like this. So I'm going to leave those alone for now. Got a closet right here. Another closet under the steps. A little more room in this one. Uh, sitting, eating area right here. We got to destroy all this shit. Open the windows up. Okay. This is a fireplace, I guess. We'll maybe redo this, make it look nice. And this is the reason why I call it the flood house. Because it's flooded. Flood runs all the way out into the backyard, so... Got to clean up all this crap first. And then we got to soak up all this water. There's a couple of ways you can do that. You can bail it out using buckets, but that will take forever. The easiest way is to just use hay bales. So I brought some with me. Let's bring them down. And you just place them where the water is. And when you pick them back up, they will have absorbed the water. All right, that's good for now. I'm not going to pick those up yet, though, until we deal with the water that's out in the backyard. So let's get out in the backyard. Pop this open right here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to um, make this a side entrance or just seal it up. So for now, I'll just leave it. We got this crack running all the way up the side of the house, which we could just repair with concrete like this. You know, it might be cool to open up the fence here, put in like an RV gate and uh, put in additional RV parking back here, but I don't know about that yet. I'm not sure what I want to do with the backyard at this point, so let's just clean it up for now. Alright, for the water back here, instead of using hay bales, I'm just going to fill this all in with dirt, get the ground nice and level, and then we'll figure out what to do with it from there. For areas that end up looking like this, we can fix that using frames. Just put the frames down over this mess and they will flatten the ground out. Got to get rid of this trim right there. Some frames down right here. And then when you pick these frames up, like I said, all the ground will be nice and level and flat. knock this crap out, the grill, the busted parts of the fence, and we'll repair that later. This wood pile, the trash cans, let's pop a hole in the fence right there because I'm going to put a door in. And we got to finish cleaning up all this crap, what a mess it is back here. Let's uh, knock this shit out first, and put in a couple of more hay bales. Cut the water off right here. Okay, now we should be able to pick the rest of them up. Oh, we gotta knock this out first. And we can pick all this up, and look, the water inside is gone. The kitchen setup is actually pretty nice with this island right here. I'm probably gonna do something very similar, but for now, let's just get rid of it all. Got a bathroom right here, which is going to remain a bathroom. I'd like to try and make it a little bit bigger. 
See if we can make it into a full bathroom instead of a half bath, but I don't know if that's gonna be possible. We'd have to build out into the backyard to make that happen. And I don't think I'd want to do that. We'd have to build out the entire house to make it look right, you know? And uh, I don't think I want to do all that. And then the other side of the, the wall of the bathroom is the kitchen. And I don't want to make the kitchen any smaller. I guess the other side is what? The garage? I mean, that's a possibility. Build out into the garage, but I don't think I want to do that either. This will probably just remain a half bath. This is the master bedroom right here. It's got its own full bathroom. Which is nice. I'm gonna get rid of all this crap. We'll redesign it. Open the windows up. Okay. Got another big window right here. We'll open this all up for now. Redo this. And I like the way they set this up. But, uh, again, let's get rid of it. And we'll redesign it. And it looks like, uh, one of those shelving units was closing off the closet. So, we're gonna have to fix that. Got a decent closet in here, though. I like this setup. Let's get rid of the shoe racks for now, even though I'm probably just gonna replace those with shoe racks. Whoops. These shelves were actually walling off the hallway. So let's do this. Let's just put in new shelves right there. Those are bookshelves, but the one without any books. We'll put one up here. And a couple over here. There we go. Done. That's good for now. This bedroom's a fucking mess, son of a bitch. Yeah, major cleanup work has to be done in here. I don't know why the floor is at two different levels. That's so weird. You know? Why is that? I don't know, but we'll fix it. Got a closet back here, which I'll probably turn into like a laundry room or something. Another bathroom right here, full bath. So that's two full bathrooms, one half bath, and three bedrooms. That's good enough. No need to add any more rooms. Here's the third bedroom right here, and the floor drops down. I, I mean, I guess we could leave it like this and put in like stairs that go down. And then this room would just have a higher ceiling, but I don't know. I think I'll probably just bring the floor up. You know, because then this sunken in room has a lower ceiling. And I'd rather this room have a higher ceiling. So, I'll fix all that shit. That's pretty much it. In terms of, uh, you know, work that I'm going to do and things that we're going to fix. Once we get this all fixed up and the roof all fixed up... Then, uh, she'll be ready for paint. Alright, we're nice and cleaned up, so I figured I'd give you a quick little tour before I go ahead and paint and furnish the place. Garage door is working. Nice and cleaned up in there. I put some blueberry plants out front instead of the yucca plants. I thought the blueberry plants looked better. That's the garage again. And let's go upstairs first. Check out the bedrooms. This is the master bedroom right here. Closet's the same. I did fix this window right here, though. Cleaned out the bathroom. Okay, so that's ready for paint. Here's the first, uh, or the second bedroom. Raised up the floor. Did the same thing with the uh, third bedroom. Raised up the floor here, so that's good to go. And then the uh, second full bathroom. It's good. It's all ready for paint up here. Now down here we got the sunken in room, put in some steps, looking good. Okay, we got the bathroom, I wasn't able to make this really any bigger, so it's just going to be a half bath down here, and that's fine. Kitchen area, eating area, 
and then outside. Now this is going to be a problem right here, the way the floor is, so we're going to have to open this up. I was thinking of another way to do it, by putting in steps right there and making the opening here higher, but I didn't want to do that. Instead, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to lay a foundation right here. And then this area of the backyard is going to be kind of sunken in. And then we'll have stairs going up to the rest of the backyard. So this is going to be like a little sunken in area where you can chill, maybe put a fire pit there, whatever. We're going to open it up to about here. Okay. Bring it out pretty much all the way. And we got to get rid of all this dirt and then go down one more block so we can put in the foundation. Then over here, I'm thinking we could uh, leave some grass and either do a garden or maybe an area for the dog or whatever. And over here, we got plenty of room for a pool. So um, I'm thinking maybe four blocks wide for the water line. Yeah, that looks good. Let's do it. There we go. Nice little pool. So still plenty of work to do here in the backyard. But then once I'm done with that, I can go ahead and get this place painted and furnished. We'll come back. We'll take one final tour. And then we'll bring on a horde and screw up all of our hard work. All right, here we are. I'll give you a quick fly around so you can check this place out before we go inside. First thing you'll notice is I got rid of that... Uh, clay roof and put in a blue metal roof. I thought that looked a lot cleaner. Backyard is looking good. We'll take a closer look here in a second. But it's good, man. It's moving ready. Ready for the zombies. Let's check this thing out first. Look at this shit. A little A-team inspiration right here with the black and red. I put back wheels on this thing, put in a new door. Man, it's looking fucking sleek, isn't it? This thing is ready for some covert missions. Let's check out the inside. Didn't change much, but I did give it an A-team paint job. Look at this. Oh man, the black and red looks sick. Other than the paint, I didn't change anything else. Like I said earlier, it's all, it's all good to go, man. Nothing else in here needs to be changed. You know what I was thinking though? How fucking cool would it be if you really could pull this thing around with your Jeep? If you can build like a mobile base like this, attach it to your Jeep and just pull it around the world with you, man, that would be sick. I would love to see them add something like that to the game. But anyway, let's get in the house here. We'll pop open the garage door. We got a 4x4, bicycle, mixer, workbench, poster of Big Mama, some spare tires on the wall, some storage back here, toolbox, some boxes and shit. Hanging fluorescent lights, or maybe they're LED. Would be better if they were LED. The front door. Put some pavers here at the entryway. They wrap around to the side gate right there. Okay. Got our closet right here. Another closet underneath the steps with a gun safe. Some storage. Place to sit down and eat. Fireplace looking a lot better than it did. That shit's burning. Look at the sunken in room. Place to chill. Watch some TV or read a book or whatever. Our bathroom. Our half bath right here. Toilet and a sink. That's all you need. And the kitchen, which looks pretty similar to the layout that was here before. Just nice and cleaned up. Look at this view, though. I love the layout of this place. I really do. Um, let's go upstairs first before we check out the backyard. Got the master bedroom right here. New paint job. I love the closet, man. Nice big closet. What's up, Ben? Some furnishings. Then we got the master bath. Full bath here. Sink, toilet, tub. 
And then this is the second bedroom. Pretty standard. Okay. Uh, another closet. Laundry room. Uh, second full bathroom. I was getting bored with the paint, so I decided to do a uh, black and white checkered floor. And then the third bedroom. Again, was getting a little bored with the paint, so I decided to do something a little weird in here with the blue and yellow. That's it, pretty standard. That's one thing I would love to see come to Alpha 20, is new paint. Especially if we're going to continue doing house flippers. You start to run out of options and shit, you know? Here we go. Backyard. A little sunken area, like I was saying. Beverage cooler, grill. A little area over here for the dog. This way, uh, you know, he can shit and piss in one section of the backyard and not all over the place. AC unit, trash cans over there. Uh, a flower bed along the back wall here. You could remove the flowers and plant, I don't know, corn if you want, if you're a psychopath. A swing set right here. And a nice looking pool on the side of the house. So, uh, who wouldn't love to live here, man? It's a beautiful fucking place. But, uh, it's not gonna be that way for long. Cause let's go ahead and bring on some zombies now. And fuck up all this hard work. Alright, here we go. Now, to defend our house, we've got a sniper rifle. Pump shotgun. Desert vulture with a silencer, just cause I like the way it sounds. And we got a steel club. 20 pipe bombs and 20 molotovs, and I didn't really do any fortification here. I do have a sledgehammer junk turret by the front door, and I knocked the steps out like this, because with two points into parkour, we can make that jump. But the zombies should not be able to do that. So that's it. I'm going to stay down here, though, just because I'm curious to see which way they're going to come in. It's got to be the front door, because to get to the back door, they're going to have to break through the fence. And I got to imagine they're not going to want to take the time to do that. When they can easily just bust in through the front door. I mean, for fuck's sake, that's glass next to the door. They can get through that with two punches. Well, I hear them. They just running around the house. Oh, they're at the front door. They're beating through the door, though, not the glass, because they're smart. Yeah, go ahead, open that up. Yeah, burn, you fucks. All right, let's go. That was pretty good, though. Held him back at that front door for a little longer than I expected. Yeah, come on in. Oh, man, this is working out great so far. Now, keep in mind, this is a concrete house. So it's going to be pretty hard for them to bring it down. I'm going to stay here in the stairwell for a little bit, do some work. But then I'm going to go out front through the master bedroom window and get on top of that camper. See how well that thing holds up. This is how we open up windows in my neighborhood. Oh, is there any problem a shotgun can't solve? I don't think so. Let's get on top of this thing. Ah, oh, they're piling up at the front. I got a solution for this. Catch, bitches. Oh, damn monkeys. Come on, get out of here. Shit. This is not good. Go through the garage. Um, not the best idea. Oh, fuck, the stairs are gone. Um, a chair. We'll use a chair. Let's bring that down to our tool belt. Go through the backyard. Because, yeah, I don't have any frames or wood or anything like that. I didn't think that far ahead. That's all right. We'll make this chair work. Um, hey, you know what? This might work right here. For a little bit, anyway. Oh, shit. Monkey's always screwing up the plans. Oh, get out of the way, Kenny. This isn't a meth van. All right. I'm going to try and make it up the stairs. I got to put this chair down. Don't mind me, Big Mama. Just making my way up the stairs. All right. Sweet. That was awesome. We're definitely getting back out on that camper. That was working out pretty good. 
Till the damn monkey started jumping up there. Alright, uh, I got honey. So we can clear up that infection. Nothing we can do about that sprained leg. We just gotta let it heal on its own. I will use a first aid kit though to get some health back. Alright, let's do it. Back on the camper. Come get some, zombies. Oh, Big Mama just shit out a loot bag. Not worried about loot bags tonight, though. We have everything we need. I didn't bring repair kits, though. That was something I was thinking about. And the Desert Vulture is about halfway done. So when the guns run out of health, we're gonna have to rely on the Steel Club at that point. Lay down, Mo. Lay down, Big Mama. Hey, stay down, Mo. Man, it sounds like they're inside this place. Oh, yeah, they sure are. Let's get some pipe bombs down in there. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's see if we can get a Molotov in there without setting ourselves on fire. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, the whole back of the camper is gone. Oh shit, the whole roof is gone. Good thing I didn't back up. Let's get over here. Get some fire down there. Oh, this is a beautiful thing right here. This is what it's all about. Fuck it, let's go back. I want to see if they can take this camper down. So far, it's been doing surprisingly well. Other than the roof caving in. I hate to jinx myself, but I'm surprised. One, we haven't seen any vultures. Two, haven't seen any cops. And three, no demolishers. I checked my game stage before we started this horde and it was over 150. So the fact that we really haven't seen any cops is uh, pretty surprising. Maybe they'll still show up, but I don't know. It's 1.30 in the morning. You'd think they would have shown up already. This plate we're standing on doesn't look like it has much life left. Figure if we fall, though, we'll be okay. We can run around the house and get back up on the stairs with the chair like we did last time. We're doing all right, man. It's like they can't bring this shit down. I don't even know what's holding it up, to be honest. I think it's just floating here. We might have to... Build a camper for our next base. Oh, shit. Here we go. Cops have arrived. Get the fuck out of here. That cop's down. Get out of here, Mo. Ah, zombies burning in the pool. Doesn't make any sense, but it doesn't have to. That's the beauty of it. I honestly cannot believe this camper is still standing. I thought about doing a separate video of this camper versus a horde. Uh, this, this is what this video ended up being. We've been here the majority of the night. I thought the camper was just gonna fail, you know, relatively quickly, and then we'd be back in the house. But no, we've been out here like all night. All right, well, it's officially morning. I guess there's nothing else left to do but put this steel club to work. Let's eat one of these uh, meat stews first and drink a Mega Crush. 
We'll hop down there and beat the living shit out of whatever's left. That's it. We did it. Holy shit, what a night. Man, the house is looking great. I swear it hardly took any damage. That's because we hardly spent any time in it. You know, we spent most of our time on the A-Team camper, which is still standing. Yeah, see, this shit's like floating. I don't know what the hell is holding it up. I mean, I didn't build the thing. I just painted it. So, there must be half blocks down here. And, uh, it's just floating there. Maybe that's the reason they couldn't take it down. I have no idea. But that thing worked out pretty damn well. Like I said, we might have to find ourselves a camper. I mean, we have one. This is the same world that I'm playing the Nightmare series in. So, this is a camper. This same camper is right down the road from our base or from our home. So, uh, we can always use it as a fallback point. If our main base fails. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more 7 Days to Die. Some DayZ stuff coming up real soon. And who knows what else. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.